Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. I'm in Loveland, Colorado. It is May 6, 2019. I came here to wire this Chrysler minivan hybrid, um, and they change off power, but I'm wiring that and then his Model 3 Tesla. And uh, I came here just to check a simple light bulb. So for my SEO guy, this video should be really under how do I find wires buried in a wall. Um, I went to change that light bulb for her because I wanted light by the panel while I was working because it's a cloudy, rainy day today. And I realized that uh, the light was off. So I changed the light bulb, it wasn't working. I tested it with my light bulb tester, still wasn't working. I put a meter on it, still wasn't working. And I decided to pick up my toner. Uh, for you guys that have watched me in the past, I like the Fluke Networks. Uh, this is an amazing toner for inside drywall use not really metal uh does a great job at trying to set a tone uh, i believe it's dc you got to make sure the power's off they don't tell you that too well so anyways i use this fluke and i test through and i was able to pick up a strong signal within this area so i started poking holes because i knew it was along the rim joist and i finally felt my wires in there uh, sometimes outlets can help when there's certain height, but sometimes you can't find things at all. The complaint was as it was off, so I told her I felt like since the house was new, she just bought it with a home inspection that was two years old. The home inspector probably wrote it off like a bad light bulb and never brought it up, she said. But really, this was the issue. This was drywall, so this wire was hot in there. Once I decide to cut that out and connect, now look, I finally have that light on and the light here that's supposed to be here. So one wire again was going hot that way and the other one wasn't. If they had pigtailed copper spliced that, then that would have been hot and this would have never been discussed or even known it was supposed to be there forever. But he did in and out daisy chain at the back of his keyless. So I was able to hook it up on the dead side and tone it this way and able to find it. Then you just get some drywall mud and then start cutting once you find it. But be careful if the wires are hot and you're sticking a keyhole saw up in there, you will arc it. Anyways, guys, hopefully that might help you out. But for some of you do-it-yourselves, you might be able to figure that out. But if you can't, don't do it if you don't know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to blow up your meter and trip your panel. Thanks, guys.